With that down, guys, let's move on to our fourth and final main topic today. And our fourth and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Geeky Gator, who writes, Hey, John and gang. New Mutants director Josh Boone recently said that he wasn't sure why everyone said that the film had reshoots because they never did. At a certain point, it seemed like everybody said they did reshoots. Why do you think things like this circulate so much when it was never even close to true? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, man. And yes, in the never-ending odyssey and soap opera that has been the New Mutants, which was supposed, by the way, tomorrow marks the 35th anniversary of when it was supposed to come out. So in this never-ending soap opera of New Mutants, uh, it, that, that was supposed to come out push 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 I, no, without exaggeration was it three years ago no it was two years ago that the first trailer two or three years ago that the first trailer came out I can't remember and we're still sitting here it doesn't have it one of the commonly believed things about it was that they had to go back in and do a whole bunch of reshoots and more problems happened from there but according to a new interview with director Josh Boone that never happened now this is what he just said this was what Josh Brun just said now. Everybody said we did reshoots. We've never done reshoots. And I'll tell you this. If there hadn't been a merger, I'm sure we would have done reshoots the same way every movie does pickups. But we didn't even do that because by the time the merger was done and everything was settled, everybody's older. Which was something that we talked about, Rob, about how, listen, when you go from 34 years old to 37 years old, no big deal. But when you go from like 18 years old to 21, you could look significantly different, right? Or even <laughs> younger than that. And that's what brings us, like even if the merger hadn't happened, I mean, it, th these kids are all older now. So how can we do reshoots? So the question then kind of becomes, uh, you know, Josh Boone is asking, why are people saying that we did reshoots? And a lot of people are now asking, like Eki Gander just is like, why did everybody say we reshoots? Well, okay, the director said, no, but the producer of the film, <laughs> what, maybe this is why there was some confusion, because the producer of the film, Simon Kimberg, all the way back in 2019, Simon Kimberg, who is, of course, he directed uh, uh, X-Men, uh, what was the name of the last one? Dark Phoenix. He directed X-Men Dark Phoenix, and he just said the following, uh, and I missed it here. There it is. He just said the following. What's, this is in 2019, so this is, this is going back now. What's happening is we're going to do reshoots. <laughs> That's what the producer says. We're going to do reshoots on that film. And as new release date from Disney, that's really it. Part of it was figuring out what the reshoots were going to be, the pickups, and the other part of it was getting that cast back together. And of course, that comes from the producer of the film, Simon Kimberg. So, Rob, if we're going to be asking the question, why do like some... Why do fans sometimes believe certain things that were maybe on one hand never true? Well, it's because sometimes the studio at, and the movie itself will send out mixed messages. And Rob, I can't help but wonder that if this little thing right here, the director saying one thing in 2020, completely contrary to something the producer said in 2019, I cannot help but wonder if this is just a little microcosm example of just how messed up this movie production has been. Like from pre to post to uh, like figuring out how they're going to handle the film and handle the release. Like we've got executives in the film, the director, the producer sending mixed messages, all that kind of stuff. It, it just kind of becomes a little bit of a representation of the kind of circus this has been. That doesn't mean the movie's not going to be great and solid and wonderful, but it, it just does kind of highlight what a circus this entire New Mutants project has been for years now and so here we are rob you're hearing josh boone saying we never did drew shoots and all this kind of stuff you hear Simon kimberg says that where does this leave you as as a film fan and your expectation and your anticipation of this new, new movie where are you sitting on this right now uh, you know john it makes me even more excited really? i've been i've been very very excited for this film as, as people know i'm a huge Bill Sienkiewicz fan when when he left yes. Moon Knight and jumped over to New Mutants, 
you know, he did the Demon Bear storyline, which which I think was as far as a comic artist goes. I think the transition that Sienkiewicz made from Moon Knight to New Mutants is one of the most significant in cinema, uh, cinema in comic history in terms of watching an artist develop. And that Demon Bear storyline, because of Sienkiewicz's work and because of Claremont's script and all that, it was it was a defining moment in the New Mutants team. And I think that Fox. We know they interfered with Fantastic Four. We know that Dark Phoenix was kind of a mess. They they always second guess themselves. They don't. They didn't really know what was what was going on. And I think after the success of Deadpool, they were probably like, "What kind of what do we do now? We've got this weird horror movie superhero hybrid. That what what are we going to do with this?" I think it was the studio that balked. And they wanted to change it. They were second guessing what they were doing. And then, of course, the merger, the sale of Fox happened. And I think this film was was it was something that Fox was not. They didn't know from the executive side. They didn't know what to do with it. The filmmakers are like uh, we made the movie we said we we're going to make. It's done. And the the studio's like, well, we're going to change it. And we're going to make it more accessible to maybe uh, a younger audience so it's not as horrific or who knows. But I think it was the studio's – I would say it's the studio's fault. The fact that they didn't do reshoots is very telling. There wasn't a problem with this movie. It's not like they looked at Fantastic Four or something and they thought it was a hot mess or whatever. It's the movie that they made originally. And for me, it's always about authorship. And the fact that it's getting a theatrical release says something. I mean, if Disney didn't have to put this out theatrically, they could have put it on Hulu and nobody would have – no harm, no foul. But they are. There's commercials for it. I've seen trailers for it. Uh, it looks really good to me. I'm stoked, dude. And I think that this might be – Hope, hope, hope. A victory for anybody who's a fan of that comic and is a fan of Chris Claremont and specifically uh, Bill Sienkiewicz. Here's what I wonder, though. If there were no reshoots, how much studio interference was there really in the film? Well, I don't think there was. I think right. what they did is they wanted to change the movie from what it was. You know, yeah, they I, wanted... I think I, I, what I had heard was because of the success they had with Deadpool and Logan that they actually were thinking maybe we need to make this darker maybe we need to make it more r-rated and stuff like that i don't know but i'll tell you what that those two films those three films deadpool one deadpool two and logan those movies are the reasons why i've always had a cautious optimism about new mutants because in deadpool like look deadpool now everybody just thinks oh deadpool's obvious no 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 that was a huge gamble that fox took yep. a lot of studios weren't willing to make that movie fox took a chance on it they made the movie, and they did something that no other comic book movie, comic book making studio would have done. We never would have had the Deadpool movie or Deadpool two had the Disney Fox merger had already happened. Never would have happened. They experimented, they took risks, and we got Deadpool one and two, which I love. Then they made another movie that no other studio would have made. They made Logan, and Logan to me is a top three greatest comic book movie of all time. I love that film. And it was in that era that made me think that, well, okay, now it looks like they're doing something else a little different and a little strange. They're trying to make a hybrid comic book horror movie with this, which is really different and very odd, but I really dug that Fox was kind of commissioning those types of projects at the time. And because of that, despite all the circus atmosphere, Rob, despite all of that, I have remained guardedly optimistic about this new Mutants movie. And and fingers crossed, I, I hope it turns out to be great because there's a lot of potential there, dude. There's a lot of potential in this movie. Yeah. So here's hoping it works out to be as good as we all think maybe it can be. All right. The question here, guys, for you is... What are you thinking about this whole state of New Mutants right now? Have you just kind of given up on the film? Are you still optimistic about it like we are? What do you think? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys. 